The morning smog spills over the giant dolmens. As the soft rain spiritually blesses a herd of bypassing cars. The motorway. The petrified remains of a serpent. The same one St. Vimber vanquished a hundred years ago. A hundred miles across. All knotted. Coiled and complicated. As the dawn chorus is buried under splitting, spitting, moaning combustible engines. Vibrating across all the regions of era. I bullet to the Chatlinch tunnel, a giant backpipe drone, and come out the other end. Stopped, bathed in red, under traffic lights. The brink of the dumb kettle around the mount. It's the center of chaos, but the five forces fight and spin. If Maeve's forehead is in Sligo, her right ankle sticks out here. If Danu's breasts were in Kerry, her outy belly button comes out here. When a woman of the Silvermon fought and won battles, where Dogda built a giant tomb, on his way to me. When red swaps for green, I hurl into the merry-go-round. While driving autopilot, I slip into memory. The pub was packed. My pint was on the right hand. A long-time friend comes and embraces the left. My soul lifts. That was love. Till we let go. She said something soft into my ear. But I wake up from the daydream on the bones of man. Notice that nature finds a way. A single seagull flies above. A hooded crow hops across the hard shoulder. The fox's remains melt into the tarmac. She said, if he lie down and listen, you could hear the humming of the world. This all took two minutes while leaving the dung kettle roundabout.